So smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so can we talk? Like, are we over here? This is never too hot for makeup for me. At least, not in the United States so far. So, I appreciate you guys who have subscribed to my channel for all these years. And I appreciate the support. Please subscribe to this channel if you want good brows for the rest of your life. I'm telling you. Hey guys, it's Elena. Welcome back to my channel. In case you haven't noticed, we are coming up on the holiday season. If you're one of them people who likes to get your Christmas shopping started early or you're just so excited about Christmas because it's your favorite time of year, this is the video for you to help you in regards to gift giving. So I am one of those people who's kind of like obsessed with gifting people. Like I don't give a whole bunch of gifts, but like when it's time to give a gift, I like to give a gift that that the person will be able to keep and not be able to re-gift to someone else. So to me, that's the ultimate goal of a gift. Some people just buy something just to be able to buy a gift, but I'd like to put a lot of thought into the gift that I'm getting for somebody, if I can, if I have the information that I need to do so. So if you guys wanna get some tips, some information, keep on watching this video. All right, so I'm calling this my gift giving one-on-one video. So when it comes to gift giving, I categorize gifts and I categorize them by, you have the frivolous gifts, you have the functional gifts, you have the useful gifts, which could go hand in hand with functional. Um, you have the sentimental gifts and then you have the collector's items. And then lastly, you have the old faithful. The old faithful would be the type of gift that you just know that person likes. It might be something that kind of like a default gift that you get for someone because you know that's just what they like. For instance, a default gift for someone like me who loves makeup and clothes would probably be just giving me some makeup or a gift card to a makeup store. If you know my favorite makeup brand and like if you know enough information, then maybe you could get be more specific but at least you would know, oh, she loves makeup, so I can always get her something makeup related. Um, in addition to the gift cards, it could be items like um, perfumes and colognes. Um, you know, those cologne sets and perfume sets are so popular during the holidays. Um, but the thing about those is you have to know what kind of scent somebody likes to get that, um, or you just have to know what you, you have to, yeah, you have to know what kind of scent the person likes. Um, for the collector's item gift, if you know someone is a collector of something, then you can get them an item in that category. Um, an example of that would be, for me, I love owls. So you could get me something collectible of an owl. Um, I'm also in love with Betty Boop. You could get me some kind of Betty Boop collector's item. Um, one thing I did, another example was for my dad, I got him a chess set with Army versus Navy. So my dad, growing up, always collected chess sets. Another example of a collector's item is there are people who love things like shot glasses. Um, they like to collect um, dolls, um, things of that nature. Those are kind of gift ideas, you know, for people who like to collect something very specific. Um, a useful item could be something that you know the person needs. Um, this could be a little more personal for like a family member or somebody you live with, somebody that you kind of are familiar with their day-to-day -day life and you'll kind of have an idea of, you know, something that they could really use. An example of something useful would be um, my husband bought me this vanity light that I am filming from here. He bought this for me some years ago. Um, he knew I really, really, really wanted a vanity light. So he bought me one and it's a very useful gift. It's a great gift and it's very useful. Um, 
some of the items that you tend to put in someone's stocking, like, you know, stocking stuffers. Um, yeah, sometimes people put jewelry in them as well, but you can put things like socks, underwear, um, ties, um, cufflinks, things like that. Those are all very useful items, very useful items. Just something that you notice that maybe your spouse needs. Um, I would say you can get those for them, but make sure those are just bonuses, you know, stocking stuffers or just bonus items that it's not their actual gift. Like don't make that actual gift socks and underwear. Like make sure there's like a main gift and then those are just little extra little extra to do, you know, just little extra things. Like another useful gift, which would be um, pretty expensive is um, you could buy somebody a car, um, you know, just something that is useful, um, but it's still a great gift idea at the same time. Don't buy someone something like a vacuum cleaner because you know they need a new vacuum cleaner unless it's just something that you really know they need or maybe you're giving them something else that's really the gift and the vacuum cleaner is just like a bonus that's fine too um don't buy me no vacuum cleaner as a gift unless it's a housewarming okay <laughs> anything technology related because you know you give someone some technology they're gonna they're gonna keep using that thing forever um maybe someone needs a computer um you know they need a computer really badly that would be something functional. For instance, I was gifted a computer. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, I was gifted a Apple computer by Miss Karen Civil. If you're familiar with her, she's an entrepreneur and she's a businesswoman. She is a marketing strategist and she's just, a, just so many things. And she gifted me this computer to help me with my YouTube channel. So that computer obviously has a function, you know, and it was a great gift. So if somebody has a certain kind of, un, a, any other kind of hobby, um, you can buy them something that would be for that hobby. Um, you know, an artist, you can buy them something that would be great for their art. Um, an athlete, you can buy them something that would be great for them. You know, if your kid likes to play basketball, you can buy them a basketball hoop. A sentimental gift would be something that is related to how you feel about someone. Um, it's usually an expressive type of gift. Um, I think the most default version of that would be jewelry, um, but there's also other things like personalized gifts. I would say that falls into the sentimental range. So anything that's kind of got a personalization to it, it's got some deep meaning to it and it's not like generic or anything like that i would call those sentimental gifts for instance the necklace that i'm wearing my husband gave to me um it has one of our wedding pictures in it and then on the back it has an inscription mr and mrs saunders forever so that would be something i would consider a sentimental gift it was either for mother's day i think or her birthday no it was mother's day i bought my mom a journal that she could use to write her songs in because she sings and she's a teacher and she um, plays piano so i bought my mom a journal and i personalized it um, with a bible verse that she loves so i had been a little sneaky devil and asked her what her favorite bible verse was um and she told me the verse she had no idea why i was asking and I got her a nice leather journal um, and I personalized it with the verse. And um, then I also um, added a quote that I just thought it was a beautiful quote um, that had to do with mothers. So I had the quote put on there and then I had the, the Bible verse referenced as well. And she loved it. She loved it so much and she can use that journal to write whatever she wants in it. She can use it to draw. She can put her music in there, you know, just whatever she wants to use it for. But that was, it was sentimental and it's functional at the same time. Um, I've also bought her um, an easel for her to do her art with. Um, her husband bought her a karaoke machine, which 
karaoke machines are fun, but they're also functional. You can you you get use out of it. So it's entertainment. And so I remember I bought my mom a ring with her birthstone in it before. Um, when you get people anything, just anything personalized, that would be more of a sentimental gift. And it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be jewelry. But let's say you buy someone like like they have a favorite sports team and you buy them an item from the team but you personalize it or maybe they used to play a sport and you get them something with their athletic number in it um something to that effect that would be a little more sentimental items that are for like special occasions that would probably fit within that sentimental area um just gifts that are like that so yeah that would be i would say that would be those would be the kind of items for sentimental all right, so the last category would be frivolous. Um, if you look up the definition of frivolous, it says not having any serious purpose or value. So a frivolous gift could just be something that you just bought somebody without even knowing, really knowing if it's something that they're into. Um, you know, you just bought it for the sake of getting a gift and it don't really have anything to do with anything. Um, so... And now, in my mind, I would also think frivolous could possibly be something ridiculously expensive, but that could be just me adding, you know, meaning to a word that don't have anything to do with it. I don't know. But <laughs> um, examples of that would be buying somebody, you know, just buying someone something that they have no interest in just to be able to say you bought them a gift. You buy someone a gift card to a restaurant but you never actually found out that they like to eat there. So you just wasted your money and they're going to be looking at you like, I don't, I don't eat there. You know, you buy a, a, a person who turns out they're vegan and you buy them, you know, you give them a Arby's freaking gift card or something like, you know, just, it's just something that just doesn't make any sense. Something that you didn't really put any thought into. You just wanted to get something. Um, it can even be when guys give a woman flowers and, and she don't even like flowers. Or he buys her a gift that she don't like or didn't even ask for. My favorite type of gift is the functional gift. Uh, like I said, my goal is to make sure that it's a gift that they're never going to throw away. And, um, and it can um, be very useful because people will throw out stuff that they don't use. Even at some point, some people who collect things get rid of their collections. So I don't even, the only person I buy collector stuff from are people really close to me. My husband, my parents, you know, that's about it when it comes to collector's items. I buy stuff for them and that's it. I like to stay in the functional, useful area, something that I know you need, or to me it looks like you need, you know, if you, um... If you're struggling, you know, with carrying X, Y, and Z all the time, then I might get you something that everything can fit into. You know, instead of you having to carry so many bags, you get one big bag that everything can fit in. Something like that. Something that's very useful, functional, but it can also be very stylish looking. You know, it doesn't have to be ugly. Like, still make sure it's aesthetically pleasing to that person. Like, make sure it's in their favorite color. You know, things of that nature. Getting the gifts... If you literally just can't think of anything to get someone, as I mentioned before, you can go to Old Faithful, which are gift cards, gift certificates, you know, or even taking the person to their favorite place and just letting them pick out something that they want. Knock yourself out. Sometimes that just helps get rid of all the, all the thought, but you know, that's just, that's a preference for me is I like to put the thought into it myself. Um... You can also just ask somebody what they want and then try to get them that. But where's the surprise in that? Where's the fun in that? Because then they already know what they're getting. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you decide that you want to give someone a gift card, um, the obvious would be to get them a gift card to a store that you know they love. Don't try to guess, you know, what they are into if you don't know for sure. So, like I said, I love makeup. So, a Sephora gift card or an Ulta gift card will do me just fine. You don't even have to get all the way specific and get me Mac or or whoever. You can just keep it as at the most basic level possible. Um, you can also 
get somebody a gift card, one of those Visa gift cards, and just put whatever amount of money on it. And then they can pick where they want to use it. Make sure you take advantage of the coupons that are out there when it comes to when it comes to shopping. So um, there are sites like Groupon, Retail Me Not, um, Rakuten, which is used to be called Ebates. Um, I would highly recommend that you use all of those sites when you're shopping. Um, Groupon is great for the sentimental personalized items um, and somewhat collector's items if you got someone who's like a, um, a sports fanatic Groupon has all that sports stuff on there um, if you know someone who loves like costume jewelry I think Groupon has like expensive jewelry too but I would be a little I would be a little careful with buying expensive jewelry from Groupon but if you like if you know someone likes costume jewelry like you know little dainty rings and things like that Groupon has great little dainty rings on there um, so I would definitely check out Groupon for things like that or if you want to buy someone something functional like you know spa massage type stuff then Groupon is also great for that retail me not is obviously great for the retail stores so you can get gift cards for less than what the value is um, you know a $20 gift card for $15 things like that um, retail me not and Groupon has that too, I believe. So you can get those gift cards, spend less money, but they'll get more money out of it um, for all the retail stores. So you know someone who's a retail fanatic who loves shopping for clothes or whatever, then you can use Retail Me Not. Um, Rakuten, aka Ebates, um, that is a cash back website. Um, you earn cash back on every purchase through that site. If you're not signed up, be sure to sign up before you start holiday shopping. I will have a link down below. My referral link will be there. Um, if you are not signed up, be sure to sign up. Um, you will get cash back on, on all your purchases. And so you're spending money and then you're going to get some money back. And they deposit it into your PayPal. It's not, um, you know, rewards points or something it's actual money you get back in your pocket that you spent so um, on there they have I mean so many different sites that you can shop on through them and then you'll get cash back um, they do have a section I think that has gift cards on it also um, some of their discounts can also be used in store check out their website and please 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 use my referral link if you do decide to go there and sign up because on your first purchase, you'll get a reward and then I will also get a reward. The last tips that I have for the gift giving is buyer beware. Um, when it comes to those discount websites like Amazon and eBay, um, and if there are any others, watch out for those, um, especially when you're trying to buy something sentimental or something of value something that needs to be authentic I would highly recommend not using those sites but if you absolutely have to just be careful um, read the reviews on the website and that's for any site you go to if they have reviews posted please read the reviews before you shop with them um, when if you're shopping for clothes for someone on the site make sure you check out all the sizing um, just check out everything that you can check out on the site but when it comes to the authenticity definitely uh, a lot of people try to buy things like Jordans and you know Yeezys and, and shoes like that um, from eBay and I don't hear a lot about it from Amazon but eBay is super famous for that and people were getting scammed left and right trying to buy them through eBay so and don't think just because the price is expensive that that means it's the authentic item make sure you read the review look at the sellers rating on there and you know just double check if, if the description of the item just doesn't seem um, specific enough it doesn't seem like it's giving you enough details message the seller and get whatever questions you got to get out don't risk it um, I know they have you know refund policies and all that kind of stuff but wouldn't you rather just get the right thing the first time there's also one other thing that I didn't think about there's nothing wrong with being frugal with the gift 
but try not to shortchange somebody if you're trying to authentically give them a gift don't shortchange the gift um, for instance unless you know a person loves Fashion Nova don't buy somebody Fashion Nova clothes because those fast fashion companies the quality of their clothing is not that great most of the time so you buy them clothes from there you're buying them some cheap ass clothes <laughs> like if I want to buy cheap ass clothes for myself that's one thing but don't give me no cheap ass clothes please like that's when you can just give someone the gift card honestly that's if they really if you know they love the store don't think because somebody loves clothes that you can give them a Fashion Nova gift card they make sure they love that store I know I mentioned earlier but I'm just saying don't shortchange don't be cheapy cheapy you know about it don't give someone a corny ass cheap gift because you ain't got that much money you might as well just give them a gift card instead like even if it, you only have $15 give them a $15 gift card and they'll get some gas in their car or they'll buy themselves some lunch or whatever they can use it for just just give it to them in a gift card but don't try to find something for $15 and it ends up being some cheesy ass gift because that gift is getting thrown out the trash <laughs> I keep saying this is the last thing. I promise you guys, this is the last thing. So, the last thing. <laughs> don't forget yourself. Treat yourself, don't beat yourself. That is something that I live by. So, I've been trying to buckle down financially ever since this pandemic started. I've been paying some debts off. I've been paying some things down, trying to be a responsible adult. And there were times where I wasn't able to like really shop for anything. And I'm a person that I love to shop, honey. Like if I don't get to shop for a certain amount of time, I start going through some shopping withdrawals. Now, I don't need no number to no therapist. I don't need y'all to send me none of that. I'm gonna be cool. I'm gonna be okay. Once I buy some clothes and some makeup and a bag, maybe some shoes. <laughs> don't forget about yourself. When you're buying gifts for everyone else, you get all those gifts situated. Get something nice for yourself, no matter what it is. Get yourself, get your nails done, get your pedicure, get you a spa treatment, get you that cute bag that you've been wanting. Um, just whatever it is, just get something for yourself. I always make sure I get myself something. I get all my families their gifts, and then I usually just buy myself some that one thing that usually I look at and be like, "Ooh, that's fifty dollars." I don't know if I, I don't know if I feel like spending fifty dollars on that. When it comes to Christmas time, that's when I spend the $50 on that. Or if it's a $80, whatever, well, not whatever the cost is, because honey, I ain't. I'm just saying. Normally, if I see something and it costs a certain amount of money, any other time I'm probably like, eh, I'ma hold off on that, I'ma hold off on that, you know. But Christmas time, I find that one item and if it's $70, $80, $50, but it's something that I just really, really, really want, that is the time that I choose to get it for myself. And then I put it under the Christmas tree. So make sure that you don't forget to treat yourself. Um, I know that I already have a couple of items in mind um, that I wanna get myself for Christmas. I'm not gonna get all of them, but I'm gonna narrow it down to something and I'm just gotta figure out what it is. So make sure and, you know, while you're doing all this for everyone else, do something for yourself. Take care of yourself. That is all for this video. I hope I've given you guys some good tips. These are just the ones that I use when I'm buying gifts for my friends and my family, even coworkers when they're doing Secret Santa stuff. Um, these are all the things that I use in mind when I'm getting a gift and getting a gift for someone. Um, so... Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, also, make sure you got your coins in order before you start shopping. So good looking out starting early. If you can, take advantage of Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Just take, take advantage of all of that. You know, get the best bang for your buck while still giving quality. And again, don't forget your 
all right so with that said that is the end of this video i hope it was helpful for you if it was please give it a big thumbs up if you have any additional tips for gift giving put them down in the comments for everybody else to get to please help me get to a thousand subscribers i really want to do a giveaway i don't know what kind of giveaway yet but i really want to do a giveaway when i reach a thousand subscribers so please help me out i would love to hit a thousand by the end of next year um so please check me out Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give me the benefit of the doubt that you're going to like all of the other videos that I put up. Go ahead and look back at some of the old ones and stay tuned for the new ones. Turn on notifications. Check me out on my social media. Please like my Facebook page. Make sure you leave comments on them. I love to read comments. What else you got to do? Post me in the house anyway. My business. So go on and do that. I'll be here when you get back. If you got to put me on pause for a moment and then come back, it's cool. We'll catch you guys in the next video that you're about to watch, like now.